In this show, we're talking about the new Google AdWords message extension. Um, we'll be explaining what it is, why you use it, how to set it up in your Google AdWords account, and most importantly of all, how to measure it. You're watching Tea Time with uh, Tillerson. That's me, Mark Tillerson. Uh, this is the show where we show you uh, hints and tips on how to grow your business online with Google AdWords, uh, using SEO, better user experience, using Google Analytics, whole heap of stuff. Uh, so keep watching, and uh, we're talking about the AdWords mes message extension today. So where do we find this new AdWords message extension, and what does it look like? Let's head over to our friends at Search Engine Land. Um, so we're just looking, essentially, I tried to do this for the video, tried to get the show on my phone. Do you know what? It's much easier. These guys have found a, a screen grab already. So this is what this looks like. Um, you may be already familiar with the uh, call extension. So someone can tap a, uh, a number straight from the ad um, and call your business. Um, if you're a service provider, um, I don't know, maybe you're a locksmith or you deliver pizza, um, that sort of stuff, you know. Um, so you can get a call straight to your phone from the ad. Um, so what Google has done now is launch the AdWords message extension um, and this allows someone to send you a text message directly from your ad as well. Um, and it looks a little bit like this. So uh, you define the text you want in here and then the default message as well. Um, so where do we see this in the Google AdWords account? Um, so head into your account, look at a particular campaign or the whole account, view extensions uh, on the ad extensions tab, and then we can see site link extensions, call out extensions, all the other ones we've, we've talked about previously. And then we've also got the message extensions. So this one's blurred out uh, as it is a client's campaign. Um, and we can see it's approved. Um, if we have a look at that, that's roughly what it looks like. Um, if I look in here, uh, so you would create one. This was one I did earlier. Um, and then we can edit it. So we create the business name, the text phone number, do test this and double check it just to make sure that it does work. Um, the extension text, so this is the text that appears underneath your uh, mobile ad. And then the message text that you want in the message when someone taps that, this is the default message they'll get on their mobile phone. Um, they can change it at this point, of course. If you want to, you can set, set start and end dates. And you can also create a custom schedule. So if you only answer text messages during the day, then you might want to set that during the day. Um, fairly straightforward, similar to your um, ad scheduling uh, at campaign level, for example. So um, one of the curious things, um, so uh, this was running and uh, we wanted to um, understand uh, how well this is working. And a client called and said, oh my God, it spent so much money, it's wasting money, turn it off. And it actually looked like it was. Um, now, what's misleading about this is when you see this in the uh, message, uh, message extension, um, and you see the number of clicks, the number of impressions, the click-through rate, the cost per click, the cost, the average position, all of your data, the conversions, and the cost per conversion, um, this is actually showing you the data for the campaign when this ad extension was shown. Okay, so that's an important distinction. This is not telling you that you've had 136 clicks on the message extension and you've had 10 conversions. Oh my God, we've had 10 conversions, uh, but I've not received any text messages, it's not working. No, it is, it is. Um, actually, this is how you see what's really being clicked on the extension. So this is, just to reiterate, this is the data of when the extension has shown what the ad has done. So the ad has had 136 clicks, 1400 impressions, had a click through rate of nearly 10%, go me. Um, it's at a cost of 285 pounds, yeah, great, okay. So how do we know how many people have actually clicked the extension and how many conversions it has created? So what you have to do there is click segment and then segment by click type. And now that will tell you out of the 136, 131 people have tapped, clicked the headline. Um, we have a site link extension. Uh, we have a click to message extension. 
actually this message extension has, has only generated one click. It's shown every time, but it's only generated one click. Um, so we've paid for that click, but we haven't had a conversion. So the user has, has tapped that. It's fairly new. Ooh, what's that in my ad? Let me tap that, see what it is. Um, but they haven't actually sent a text message. So we pay for the tap as we would pay for a click. We've paid our £1.59 to Google for the privilege, uh, but we haven't had a message. We haven't had a conversion. So actually, this isn't doing too bad. It's quite new. It's you know it's not familiar to the audience just yet. So they're not they're not kind of texting away and expecting that to be there just yet. So that will come. Um, but uh, that's how we see uh, how how that particular extension is performing uh, compared with other extensions and also making sure that if we have had conversions and text messages that the phone that we're sending them to has actually received them. So that is, uh, that's what the uh, messaging extension is, that's um, why you use the messaging extension, um, how you set the messaging extension up and how you measure it. Um, have fun uh, with that, if you do get problems we do a lot of Google AdWords coaching um, and do hit the subscribe button for more videos on how to improve your Google Ads performance. Um, lots of SEO tips coming up in, in the next few shows. Uh, so do hit subscribe uh, and have fun.